I think it's a very timely um, moment for UCC to take this stand. We were so happy in 2014 when the two countries decided to talk. And uh, it was, well, it was, it was a God-given thing. And then all of a sudden, the steps taken back. It's a moment when the church says, no, we want to continue dialogue, continue reconciliation, continue diplomatic relations. So I think that the decision to use precisely this synod, 31 synod, which is historic, to take that stand and say we are in favor of more conversation with Cuba and more friendship and more relation between our two countries. Good for you. Oh, I'm really overwhelmed uh, by the process yesterday uh, as the committee looked at it and as I was able to inform them what it was all about and the purpose. It was pretty much clear, uh, uh, pretty clear in the resolution what we're trying to do, but to see the affirmation and the agreement that yes, we need to do that. There was some discussion about is this a political action, and I tried to assure them this is a moral justice action and not a political action. Y en ese sentido, la, la declaración de hecho es una expresión de solidaridad que para mi concepto tiene ya valor. The resolution is in my concept a very explicit declaration of solidarity, which I think I can applaud fully.